And let's take a look at Virgin Galactic's $500 million experimental spacecraft, the brainchild of the British billionaire Richard Branson. His dream is to take high-income passengers, including celebrities like Leo DiCaprio and Katy Perry, on a journey to the edge of space. But those A-listers may want to reconsider when they see this. The debris field after the spaceship exploded, killing one of the test pilots. Even more devastating, this is the second disaster to hit the private space industry this week alone after that rocket exploded on takeoff in Virginia just a few days ago. And ABC's David Curley is in Washington with more. David? Good morning, Paula. This morning, NTSB investigators and Richard Branson are set to arrive in Mojave, California, trying to figure out what happened in this second private space accident this week. These photos capture the very end, the release from the mothership, and moments later, debris from Spaceship Two, the craft starting to break up during its fourth powered flight, all of it falling to Earth, a parachute, scattered debris, one pilot severely injured, carried to a helicopter. There was a second chief deployed. The second pilot died. Space is hard, and uh, today was a tough day. This, an earlier test flight, the mothership carries a spacecraft to 50,000 feet, releases it, and the craft fires its own rocket, all part of the dream of Richard Branson to take a half dozen passengers at a time to the edge of space. He has deposits already on 700 tickets, including some of Hollywood's elite, Pitt, Jolie, Perry, DiCaprio. In a statement, he said traveling to Mojave is one of the most difficult trips I've ever had to make, but he wants to be with the teams, quote, now in shock at this devastating loss. Observers say the rocket wasn't getting the craft high enough. This flight was the first to use a new fuel, which had only been tested on the ground. Obviously, it failed spectacularly. Joelle Glenn Branner documented the predecessor of Spaceship Two and knows many of those who work on the program. They were concerned about the pace of the program. This was the second serious setback this week for the commercial space industry. Tuesday, a private cargo rocket exploded seconds after liftoff. After the failure of Spaceship Two, what will those Hollywood stars and hundreds of others this morning think about riding that rocket? Customers weren't necessarily paying attention. I think this might have been a wake-up call to them. From wedding David, for decades, the space race has been littered with mishaps and even deaths, and yet we have persisted time and again. Do you think the private space exploration business can survive these twin disasters? Experts say that's the way we're headed, Dan, that we will probably see more mishaps like this in the future because rocket science isn't easy, but this transition to commercial space travel is underway and probably will not be stopped. Too much momentum. David Curley, thank you.